Hello. Hiya mate, yeah, my container's been put on backwards. Alright. Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching. Um, we are doing something a bit different um, currently and for the foreseeable future while it's quiet over the Xmas period, I'll get my words out. Uh, we're back on the containers. Uh, we are in the docks right now. Um, I should probably mention it's quarter past four in the morning and I was up at half past one in the morning and in my yard by two and gone by quarter past two. <laughs> um, it's been a very, very early start. It's going to be an early finish today. Not because I'm not doing any work, but because I literally cannot work past five o'clock. So it will be a case of finishing relatively early. It, depend, it depends on how far we get with driving time and stuff. Because we are going to run out of driving hours before we run out of working time, I expect. Um, apologies for no mic. I'm just currently charging up my GoPro now uh, that I use the mic with. Um, I could have just waited for it to be charged up before I started vlogging, but never mind. Um, yeah, so we we were on containers yesterday. Today's Tuesday. No, today's Wednesday. We were on containers yesterday, which was Tuesday. Uh, we went to Port Tabot, which is near Swansea. And today, we're going back to Wales again, God's country, as um, Chuck Ajenko said yesterday on, on the phone. Um, we are going to... Where are we going? We are going to... CF426CJ, the postcode. It's not far from Cardiff, but it's sort of like up a little bit. In fact, Chuck Ajenko said it wasn't far from where he lives. Well, that's a good start. You weren't supposed to fall over. <laughs> right, um, we are gonna go, because I, I need to uh, sort some stuff out, paperwork and stuff, and uh, I'll get back to you when we are on our way, or when it's slightly lighter out, because it is dark and you won't be able to see me out on the road. All right, we are loaded. We've got our container on and we are now heading towards Cardiff. Cardiff in Wales, we, um, because we had to drive down to Southampton from Swindon this morning, we're actually already on two hours of driving. So we've only got just under two and a half left, which means we do have to stop on the way up. Um, it takes three and a half to get there, and I've got two and a half left, so I'm going to be about an hour away, which would mean probably just before the Severn Bridge I would have to stop. So we'll have a look. We'll, uh, I'll, I'll figure out where exactly we're going to stop a bit closer, because I ain't got to worry about it yet for another two and a half hours. There's plenty of services on the M4. Um, Lee de la Mer at Chippenham, I could stop out for half an hour. I only need half an hour, I've had 15 minutes in here. So, I only need a half an hour break, get up there, get unloaded, have another 45 minute break while I'm up there, getting on, getting offloaded, and then come straight back down here again, get reloaded with something else. Um, I don't know where it's gonna go, but then I suspect We'd, left, we'd, we'd be in a 10 hour drive by the time I get down here, so I'll only have sort of half an hour, 45 minutes to go find somewhere to park, but at least then I'm ready loaded for the for the morning, and I can just drive straight to wherever I've got to get to. So, so long, it's gonna be a relatively long day today. Like I said, it feel like I finish early, like could be three, four o'clock in the afternoon I finish, which seems early, but you know, I was in the yard at two o'clock this morning, so it will be a 12, 13, 14 hour shift, easy. But we will um, have to stop because of driving time guaranteed it by the time by the time we got down to Southampton back up to Cardiff back down to Southampton again um, we're going to be very close to uh, nine hours if not just over so we won't have much driving time left once we are loaded but obviously we'll cross that bridge when we get there I'll work out exactly how much driving time we'll have when we get there it's all estimates at the moment but uh, yeah 156 miles to go um, three hours and 20 minutes of sat nav is currently saying but we will hit traffic at some point like I said, ETA at the moment is 10 past eight. We've got to be there for nine o'clock, that's when it's booked in, and we've got to have half an hour break. So we're about 20 minutes ahead of schedule, and that could go quite easily in traffic. So 
Um, we're not in the dry yet. We need to get a move on. But um, we can't if, they're go if the lorries are going slow. <laughs> Crack on. Just now, um, I pulled up to, basically when you get the container on, you've got to then check the seal on the back, make sure it's all right. So you've got to get out of the cab, uh, do all the twist locks up, make sure it's all safe, you know, not going to fall off. Check your seal number. And then you've got to go into a little hut on a computerized machine, like basically a computer, um, type in your registration number, type in that the container's all all right, nothing wrong with it, and then put your seal number in to confirm that you got the right container with the right seal number. That's all good, I did all that. When I pulled up, I parked up behind some bloke. I did all that, by bear in mind he was already there, did all that, got back in the cab, and I was still waiting for him to like hurry up. He was still sorting out his seal. So it's a bit annoying when that happens. I was end up waiting up behind him for a good three, four minutes, which don't sound like a lot, but when you just want to get going, you just sat behind a container, it's, it's, it's annoying. <laughs> Anyway, it's dark, so you're not going to be able to see me very well. I expect you can't see me at all, but um, it will be light later. So I'll, uh, I'll reconvene with you guys when it's a little bit li lighter. See you in a bit. Right, I know you can't see me, but uh, we are now stopping for our break. We're just about to pull into Lee Delamere Services on the M4, which is uh, just past Chippenham. We're currently on three hours, 44 minutes driving. Uh, we won't have enough time to get to the next services, which is uh, just after the, the bridge. Uh, as you get into Wales, there's a services over there. And uh, we're just short on time to actually make that. So we're not going to be able to make that one, unfortunately. I'll turn the light, this light on now because it's lit up so I can see out the window and you can see me. And where did trucks go? Trucks go straight on. But yeah, it's quite weird. It's only, it's only half past six in the morning. It's still quite early, but we've like, done nearly four hours driving. <laughs> so I believe Chuck could go in the next right. Yeah, where he's gone. So yeah, what we're going to do, we're going to pull up. We're going to have half an hour break to reset the driving time. I am actually going to have a little snooze on the bed as well for half an hour. Oh no, that's coaches only. Uh, Laurie went in the wrong one, then, did he? Or did he go in this one? Oh no, he, he did go in this one. We've got to actually hope there is actually somewhere to park. Because like I said, it's still quite early, so people are, will still be sleeping. Uh, it looks like we can go next to this crane. Whether it's on the left or right, I'm not sure. Oh, there's loads of room. Absolutely loads of room. Just gonna park behind this lorry. There we go. So we're on three hours and 46 minutes now. A bit annoying, that is not three hours and 45. That would have been easy then to remember. But never mind. Yeah, three hours, 46. I'll keep a mental note of that. Let's take this high vis off. Um, let's lock the doors. Don't want anyone coming in, attacking me in the, in the, in the night, I was gonna say, during my half an hour sleep. Right, uh, let's put you on break. Let's set an alarm on my phone. So it's 6.33 now, so I need an alarm for 7.03, which will be the half an hour. That's set. Phone is also on do not disturb. Excellent. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go now and uh, have a snooze. Hopefully I'll be nice and refreshed. Okay, that's the break finished. Um, I forgot to turn the night heater on. <laughs> so I've actually gotten quite cold. My feet are freezing. Put my shoes back on, my boots. Um, 
Right, before I drive off, just need to make sure everything's right with the truck. Uh, and then we're going to get crack a lacking. Right, good morning everybody. Hopefully you can see me now uh, a little bit better. It's currently 20 to 9, just gone in the morning, obviously. Uh, so we should be there in 20 minutes. However, we're actually going to be there in 35 minutes. We are running ever so slightly late uh, because of traffic. Uh, <laughs> particularly Newport. Uh, just shed load of traffic go past Newport all over the place. Literally just come out of it. Uh, according to the sat nav it's all clear now so we'll have to wait and see but there's a lot of traffic coming back the other way to Newport so it's just one of those things it's a little bit annoying actually how I was on schedule to be there on time and now I'm not but I don't think it's a major issue not really but at the same time like looking at Google Images last night it kind of looks like it would have been easier getting there first thing in the morning because of the way cars might park so we'll see we'll have to see but yeah uh, as I said earlier the place we're delivering to is ju it's just uh, past Trucker Jenko's house uh, so he tells me so I just want to say shout out to Trucker Jenko again I will leave a link to his channel in uh, the description of this video go uh, go check him out he is an up-and-coming vlogger from Wales as well um, and I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, but he's more of an older generation trucker. And Martin, if you are if you are watching, don't take offence. <laughs> he's 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 older than me, put it that way. Um, and he's older than the rest of the road legends as well, Kev, Jay, and Scott. So he's uh, he's more mature. Let's say let's use that word. He's more mature. So yeah, go check him out. We uh, we helped him get a thousand subscribers. Um, that's good for him nice to see that he's getting the uh, acknowledgement that he deserves and yeah we may see him on the road someday who knows I am just going to back off and let this lorry pass I hate it when lorries come past you at one mile an hour faster they're like holding everybody up everybody has just had to sit through that traffic same as me and now everyone is behind that lorry doing one mile an hour overtaking me so might as well slow down let him in flash him in and then all the vehicles then gonna just get past us both. I I'm a considerate driver, alright? Uh anyway, I still don't know what the plan is today. I suspect we're gonna go back down to Southampton later and, and swap containers over, get another one put on, and uh park up for the night. That's what I expect I'll do, but it does depend on how long I'm here for. If I'm here for ages and say I don't leave here until like one o'clock in the afternoon. It's a good three hour drive back down, that's four o'clock. I need to be parked up by five. By the time I get a container on and stuff, I could run out of working time. So I think the cut off is gonna be one o'clock. So as long as I'm out of here by one, I suspect I will be, but I have done this in the past and I've, I have been there for like three, four hours. Um, so it's just one of those things, we're gonna have to wait and see. Depends on, depends on the place entirely. Some places have a bay that you reverse onto and obviously fork lifts go in and out. Some places have no bay, like the one I went to yesterday, but have a ramp where they can get into. And some places have no load of bay, no ramp, and it all has to be handballed off. So, and I, I don't know, I've got a funny feeling this has to be handballed off, just looking at the uh, the place on the map. It's just a small industrial industrial area. There looks like there is a load of bay, but it's just, just a goods in entrance, do you know what I mean? That's all it is. So it looks like, I think, it looks like everything's gonna have to get handballed off. So, that's fun for them, I ain't doing it. <laughs> I might have another snooze again, another little nap. Went to bed last night, 7 p.m. 
uh, same time as the kids went to bed. I didn't want to go to bed before the kids because I want to obviously spend some time with them. So, uh, yeah, I went to bed at seven o'clock and then I was up for about half past one. So that's what, six hours sleep? Something like that. Right, we're coming off here. Still 33 minutes away and sat nav has just popped up saying there is some traffic up ahead as well. But might clear by the time we get there. Cattle grid there. Is there cattle nearby? <laughs> Wales. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a little or an Audi near where I'm offloading as well, so I very mal little I very well may while getting unloaded, while they're unloading me, uh, pop to the shops, I'm not sure. Just to get some food in case I am out for the rest of the week. Because I am fully prepared to stay out for the rest of the week. But we'll see, we'll see. Anyway, let's crack on, see you in a bit. Okay, so I've learned a few things about uh, this particular part of Wales so far. Van drivers tend to be pricks. <laughs> and I'm sorry for swearing, or not really a swear word, but uh, they don't give you much room. I'm going down these roads, look, and there's, there's hardly any room. And cars are just, they're not really paying attention. I mean, there's only some places I can pull in. A lot of these places I'm far too big for, but cars just want to keep coming down. But it's in particular, van drivers that are uh, they're just pushing in, just pushing past. One van driver put his hand up at me because obviously he wasn't happy that I was down these roads or something. I don't know, but he had an attitude. So uh, yeah, that's that's something I've learned so far. These roads are not ideal for lorries. There's a lorry right by me as well, so I'm basically his bulldozer. I'm carving away for him. <laughs> Look, this is my road, my road, but you just keep coming. Do you know what I mean? Never mind. See, now I've got to give way to oncoming vehicles because the vehicle parked up is on my side of the road. So I slow down, I indicate. Does anyone let me through? Yes, they do. Thank you. <laughs> Very kind of them. That's about the third person to let me through. About 99 other cars haven't. Anyway, we are literally just a mile away from where we need to be. He wants to go right, so I'll let him go. Or as my trailer would be blocking his entrance. Yeah, about a mile and a half away from where we need to be. That car now is indicating right to go down there, but if he indicated a bit earlier, I would have stopped. I just can't get through these gaps. Cars are just not being very good. There was an elderly gentleman driving that car there. And he could see I wanted to come down. He see, I could see I started coming down and I couldn't come down because the car's behind him. And then he decided to indicate right. If he indicated right sooner, I would have just stayed where I was. <coughs> Never mind. There's a five minute delay up here, apparently. I also got a sneaky suspicion that that lorry is gonna go the same way I'm going. Not sure. Not entirely sure whether he is or not, but I mean, we'll find out. I'm pretty sure I saw a Lidl or something nearby. Didn't I say that earlier? I'm pretty sure there was something nearby. Right, one more mile to go and then we need to take a left-hand turn. But 
apparently there's some traffic up ahead. Weather is again not great today, it's a little bit miserable out there. Not good. Oh, I, no I noticed that um, fuel at petrol stations seems to be a lot cheaper than everywhere else. It's like less than £1.30. Where I filled up yesterday is £1.45, I think. £1.46. So that's massive 16p difference. Oh man, this is going to be fun. I've got parked cars on the left, so I can't go until I can actually fit in on the left hand side as I'm blocking vehicles coming down. They've got traffic lights up there, look. Oh, this is not going to be good. I will indicate as if to say I want to go, right? If I, if I get behind that car up there, the car's coming down, won't be able to get past me. Just have to sit here for a second, then as soon as the lights turn green up there, I just go then. Well, the lights probably turn green before the last car reaches me, coming down. Let me see. Oh, that appears to be the last one now. No, one more. The joys of driving a truck in Wales. Oh, the joys! Supermarket there. Oh, there's a green light now. Come on. There's a green light and cars are still coming down, so it doesn't look great. I expect we'll be stopping at the traffic light. Come on! Dodo. <laughs> Trying to get up, You're just dawdling down the hill. See, there's a red light in there, a vehicle's still going through. Oh, that looks proper tight. There's a, a lorry there doing roadworks, and, and it looks proper tight. I've got to walk through. Green light for us. I just think he's moving over for me, I think. <laughs> what he's beeping me then. I'm gonna have to go on this curve to get the trailer around him. You see him, he was beeping, I could see he was pointing down, so I thought he was trying to tell me something. Right, I'm gonna have to squeeze through this gap. Because I'll be waiting ages otherwise. Do uh people in Wales not have drives? I don't think I've seen a single house yet with a drive. This lorry's still following me as well. Close your door. Close your door, thank you. I hope it's a lot quieter when I leave this place and go back. Okay, we have a left turn coming up. Come on guys, budge over. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, that bin lorry just went. Pretty sure the Audi is up here, or Lidl's, whatever it is. I always get those two confused. Always get that confused. Left up here. It is a Lidl. 
Uh, according to the map, this bit coming up is tight. Not tight, but don't want to meet another car. I need to be on the right hand side to get the trailer around there. Oh, 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 that's round. Okay, this is the industrial estate. We now need to find the place we're delivering to. It's a place called Ribbons. Plenty of space to park up, look. And I think it's down this one. Looks like there's plenty of room for me to spin around. Uh, uh, uh. Right, we need to find out what unit it is. Okay, so according to Google Maps, it's there. That building there. Uh, that's a fitness gym, so it's not there. <laughs> uh, so I've done a bit of walking around. And it's actually over here on my right. Which you're about to see. Just got to turn around. Yeah, all of this is Ribbons Limited. The big massive building that I didn't see on the way in. Uh, however, they don't actually want me here. They want me on the other side. So uh, we've got to reverse up to the bay next to this road. Two grey skips, they said. So, looks like these skips here, and there's a door there, look. So I've got to reverse up to that door. I honestly think this is all going to be handballed off. That car wants to go past, so I'm going to let him go past quickly. these trailers because they make all sorts of weird noises and you think you're hitting something and you're not. Right, I just want to uh, see the guy, be right back. Well, I'm not home central if I'm going to include this bit in the vlog or not, but if I do, then I do. We're just parked there, as you can see. Uh, and we're just walking now to Lidl. Is it Lidl? Yeah, Lidl, where those white lights are. See us there? So that's where we're going. Gonna go to Lidl. Ooh. Gonna go to Lidl. Get some supplies for the rest of the week, like I said, I think I'm gonna be out. And, uh, yeah, just shame, shame it's raining, I get my hair wet. <laughs> Right, we got our shopping. Not much, just got a couple of bottles of Coke to last for the week, so I got drink. I know, I know, you shouldn't be drinking the Coke, but never mind. Uh, Cornish pasties. I got some donuts. Uh, and then I got some uh, essentials like toothpaste, uh, baby wipes, cotton buds, and nurofen. So. That's all that matters. I can actually hear the truck as well now, being unloaded as well, which is good. Means they're cracking on with it. So yeah, let's head back to the truck. 
Double check the guys are alright. I'm going to get inside because it's raining quite hard now. So yeah, let's go. Right, we are now leaving. We are on our way back to Southampton. Uh, they were relatively quick actually. I think they got me tipped in about 35 minutes. Um, but I had to have a 45 minute break anyway to reset my drive time so I can get back down to Southampton. So they let me stay on the bay for an extra 15 minutes, which is good of them. Uh, they let me borrow the toilet, as you, as you may well know if I've included the clip. <laughs> if I haven't, then you're all like, what? <laughs> um, yeah, so we're heading back to Southampton now. We've got to take this box off at a place called Solent Steve Doors. Never been there before. Um, I'll be honest with you, I think I'm annoying the guy we're doing the work for because uh, I've done container work before but it hasn't been for a while. So um, some of the places he's asked me to go pick up stuff, I'm not sure where it is. Do you know I mean? So I'm hoping I'm not annoying him too much. I'm apologising, I'm so sorry mate, yeah, once I find it you know, I'll be alright. But the, pub the problem I've got right now is that um, I've only got a certain amount of drive time left going to stop here so anyone who wants to go up there can i've written it down so i know uh i've only got four hours and 14 minutes of drive time left four hours 14 minutes uh as soon as it says four hours and four uh, well, just four hours on my on my taco i need to find somewhere to park asap um it takes three and a half hours to get there so i'm going to have about 40 minutes to play with to find somewhere to park um, maybe even less than 40 minutes, it depends on how long it takes to get this container off, get another one put on, and things like that. So, yeah, we've got to be a bit careful. I was hoping I can get back up to, uh, to the services on the A34, if I was going back that way. See, you're supposed to give way to me, mate, come on. He didn't want to give way to me. Van drivers and bloody whales. Um, yeah, so even if I am going back up to the A34, I won't have time to get up there. So I most likely will be parking in Southampton. I did see a lot of uh, container trucks parking in a certain area um, just before the docks. Now there were double yellow lines, but there were like literally 20, 30 trucks parked there. So I'm assuming they were parked there overnight because this was at like two, three in the morning. Well, no, no, it would have been about four in the morning. Yeah, four in the morning. Maybe slightly exaggerating there. Four in the morning. Anyway, so uh, it's a three hour and a half drive back. People take. Hopefully there's no traffic. It's uh, just gone half past ten currently. So I'm hoping to be back by two o'clock. Let's see. Right then, ladies and gentlemen. It is now two o'clock in the afternoon. We... I've done three hours and 26 minutes worth of driving currently. We can only go to four hours and 14 minutes. So what I wrote down earlier? Pretty sure it was. Either way, when I've got this container off uh, and I'm in place waiting for my other container to go on, I'll do a print out and find out for definite how much driving time I've got left. It's pretty much going to be about half an hour, so I've got to find somewhere to park in half an hour. Hopefully in the docks, if not, then just outside the docks on a road somewhere. Uh, I am getting tired, <laughs> I must admit. Um, it was, it's two o'clock now, so I've been at work for 12 hours, but nine of those hours I've been driving pretty much. Well, o over nine hours worth of driving already. So it's pr almost constantly driving. Just drive, 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 and, and apart from little bits of waiting like this. Anyway, I've been told to bring this container back to a company called Solent Steve Doors, Steve Doors, Stephen Doors, some of that. I've never, never been there before. I'm hoping that this is the place. It's within the docks. Uh, there is stuff around saying Solent Stephen Steve Doors. Yeah, Solent Steve Doors Rail Terminal. Uh, there's a queue of trucks waiting to get in, and there's an office there that the people are talking to. So um, we are currently third in line. So when Mate Boy in front goes in, who's next in line, I will then be next. Just double check I am in the right place. Looks like I am. Get this container off, then I'll make a phone call. Uh, 
and then hopefully we can get the other one put on ASAP. Yes, no idea where we're going yet, no idea at all. All I know is as soon as I finish work, I'm knackered, I could quite well go to bed, but I can't go to bed straight away because otherwise I'd be up really early in the morning. And I don't want that because then I'd be tired later on in the evening, if that makes sense. So yeah, just giving you a quick update, a little bit tired. We are hopefully in the right place. I'll, uh, I'll speak to you guys in a sec. Uh, the time now is quarter to four. I started at two o'clock this morning. So we're coming up to a 14 hour shift. I have to be parked up in an hour and 15 minutes. I have to be, I was on breaking the law. Uh, so I'm hoping they get me detainer on very quickly. Oh, this might be it now actually. Yes it is. Bear with. correctly he's now reversing back I now need to go to the on-screen computer thingy majiggy put the seal number in make sure the seal number matches on their system and then I can go park up I've got to be quick I might not even be able to find anywhere to park up yet in the docks oh dear I'm getting very, very, very tired now. So I could do it just parking up and going to bed. Come cool, on, mate, keep going. Alright, just parking one of these bays now, check them, check the seal, oh, there's a queue getting out as well, typical. Check the seal, do the twist locks up and uh, and we can crack on and try and find a parking space. Yeah, my container's been put on backwards. All right, uh, go to what slot would you want? I think it was 87. What slot would you want, mate? 87, I think. I'll give you my reg, if you like. Right, yeah, go to slot 80, 77 and we're turning around, okay? 77. How do you want me to get there? Go out, round the roundabout and back yeah, in please. again? Yeah, right. So I don't know if you heard any of that, but I'm just getting I'm getting so tired now that I didn't even spot it. My container is on backwards. The doors are on the front of the cab. Palaver, this has turned out to be. 
has actually really annoyed me. The day's been all right until then. They put the container on the wrong way. My fault, I should have spotted it when I did thumbs up, all okay. Should have spotted it then, but I didn't. Uh, and then to make things worse, I spoke to the guys. No, thank you. I do not want to see the top of the container. I spoke to the guys in the help desk. They said, yeah, yeah, go, go on out, come back in. Come back in, there's a big, massive queue in there. So I had to wait for the queue to clear. Then I uh, rang up the help desk and they, uh, they just said, yeah, yeah, go on in. Hung up, so I pressed it again. They said, yeah, yeah, go on in, go number 77. All right. Got there and there's someone in the bloody bay, wasn't there, 77. So I had to wait for them to clear off. They didn't clear off, so I had to phone the VBS number, they weren't answering. I was queued position number four and it took literally 15 minutes to get through to them. Meanwhile, I'm flipping because I'm running out of drive time, I'm running out of work time. I need to get parked up. Not good. I've got 12, no, eight. I've got, well, I don't know, I've got until 4.14, I'm on 3.52. I can't even be bothered to work out. Um, so I've got to find somewhere to park up and quick. I'm hoping there's some places down here, but I'll tr oh, come on. Got an early start tomorrow. I've got to start at 3 a.m. because the A34 northbound is shut at Winchester. So it's going to take over five hours to get to where I've got to go. I've got to go up to Sheffield, I think. Um, I need fuel. <laughs> I need a break, <laughs> I need to sleep, <laughs> I'm out of breakdown. I, I saw someone park up here yesterday, uh, this morning when I come in. Was it here? No, it was a bit further down. Yeah, a guy parked in here. So do you know what? I'm going to park in here now. Sod it. I am parking here for the night. Wow. Just... <laughs> I just... For the last hour or so, I've just been so stressful. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not going to get in trouble parked here. There's not a lot I can do about it. I've literally, I'm out of time. Um, I've done 14 and a half hours currently. Um, and I'm on 3.54. I can only do 4.14. 6 plus 4 is 10. So I've got 10 minutes of drive time. 30 minutes of working time. I think it's fair to say that today I've worked as much as I can do. I hope I don't get told off. I'm just going to have to close my curtains and if anyone knocks, ignore them. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everybody. The day after yesterday, yesterday was an interesting day, wasn't it? Um, it's 2.55 2 in the morning right now. So 5 to 3. Taki's been in since quarter to three. We've done all the checks, done all the paperwork. We are pretty much good to go. I just want to double, conf double confirm the route that we're taking because the A34 is shut northbound um, by Winchester. So we sort of got to go up to Wards, Basingstoke and then come back down on ourselves on the A303. And then on to the A34, go back up that way. We are going to Rotherham. Is it Rotherham? Da, da, da. Yeah, Roth Rotherham, that's where we're going. We're on our way to Rotherham, it's 227 miles away. It takes four hours and 20 minutes to get there. There is a chance if we get caught up in traffic, we won't make it there before we need a break. But I'm hoping we can get there before we need a break. 
and scout the place out. Not due there until nine o'clock. The ETA according to Satnav is 7.15. So we're a good hour and 45 minutes ahead of schedule, which is what I planned. Because I, I thought it was going to take more than four and a half hours to get there. Go in the way I originally planned, which was up to the M25 and then up onto the M1. But um, yeah, the sat -nav's found a faster route, so we've made a bit of time up there straight away, so I may not need that 45 minute break. But uh, yeah, no, if we do get there for that time in the morning, seven in the morning, then, um, well, caught by seven in the morning, then it gives me time to go around and try and look for the place, because I tried finding it on Google Maps and I can't find it. It's in, a, it's in an industrial area, so I'd, I'd rather just park up and have a look, little walk around and see if I can actually find the thing, rather than take my truck down somewhere that I can't get back out of again. So, uh, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, last night, sleep-wise, it was quite noisy, I'm not going to lie. I thought it wouldn't affect me so much because I was so tired and I have an app on my tablet which plays like a fan noise because I can't sleep about it. Um, but I think where I parked, there's, I don't know, there was just a lot of noise. Maybe the trains were delivering as well, I don't know. But there was there was a lot of noise and it didn't really stop until 11 o'clock at night. Um, and of course it's 3 o'clock in the morning now, so I've only had three hours sleep after the noise stopped, if that makes sense. But I have had sleep, so we're good, we're good. I think I might be going home tonight because I might not actually have enough hours to get back down here again. I don't want to go into a 10 hour drive today because I want to save that for tomorrow in case I need to get home tomorrow. So I'm only doing nine hours today, simple as that. And like I said, it takes about four and a half to get up there, which only leaves me with four and a half, so I might just use that to get back down to, uh, to Swindon again. We'll see. Traffic will be busier by the time I leave. That's one thing you've got to bear in mind. But uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind sleeping on my own bed tonight. <laughs> right, uh, we've got a four hour drive ahead of us, so let's crack on. We've got to get fuel and stuff as well on the way up. Uh, well, we're on quarter of a tank, so we'll probably get it on the A34 around Oxford. There's a co op up there, we'll probably do it there. Yeah, we'll probably do it there. Right, see you in a bit. Right, we've uh, right, we've uh, we've just filled up with fuel and also put a little bit of AdBlue in as well because we were running low on AdBlue. So I put six pound in. Oh, that's a bloody truck part right there. I'll take a wide turn now just to get round past this truck. with a train on it. Ugh. Container trailers make noise all the time. You think you're hitting stuff. <laughs> um, look, there's another one there. Look. I'd love to do that. Deliver a train. I've got a good way here. There's a van to the left, but he's taking his sweet ass time. So I'm going. Right, we want the exit. I think we're gonna go right. Yeah. So yeah, we've uh, we've been driving now for just over two hours. We I should probably say where, where we are. We're at um, Chad Valley Services on the M40. So we've uh, basically gone past Oxford from Southampton. So we're sort of just under halfway there. We've still got another two hours and 20 minutes to go before we get there. So we're gonna crack on continue with our drive we're going left at this roundabout here then we need to get to the left lane excellent hey yeah so uh, let's crack on I'll see you guys a little bit later when it's a bit lighter out as well right after four hours and 18, 19 minutes driving now, four hours and 19 minutes driving, we're coming up to our destination. Obviously we stopped to get fuel on the way as well. I get a funny feeling I might need to get into the lane next to me. Yeah, 
Yeah, I definitely need to get over to the left lane. Du, 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 du. Let's get on over. Thank you very much for the car. Ah, uh, yeah, so we're finally here. Oh, there's a nice sunrise over there. I've got a cold come in. My nose is all bunged up. Not good. Don't know if you can see that sunrise on the uh, on the GoPro or not. Quite a nice looking sunrise. Right. Oh dear, is that where we're going? Somewhere around here. We've got to try and find a company now called Rittle. Um, I'm hoping it's going to be quiet. I'm hoping I can just park up and have a little walk around. Could do a stretch of my legs anyway. Uh, I've only got 10 minutes of drive time left. So again, we're on the edge. I could do with uh, just parking up somewhere and having a little walk around. Of course, if I can see the company on the way, passing, driving all through these, uh, then uh, that'd be even good. Even better. There's a truck stop up here as well, I think. Uh, Rittle, we're looking for Rittle. I also need to have a 45 minute break. My mic cut out then, for some reason. So I'm hoping I can find the place, park outside its premises, and have a 45 minute break before they turn up. Or, I'm hoping I can find the place I'm delivering to, park up on the bay, have a 45 minute break. No, I can't do that because I've got to open the doors. So yeah, I've got to try and get a 45 minute break in before they, before uh, they get here, ideally. Going then straight on. So many businesses around here, and I checked, and a lot of them have the same postcode. But I am going to go to the place it says it claims where it is on the Google Maps, but um, it doesn't, according to Street View, it's not actually there. So let's have a look. Should be coming up now. Somewhere in this complex here on the left is where I'm hoping it's going to be. So we're going to take a left turn. I was contemplating parking up here and taking a look, but I think I'm actually going to take the left turn first. Google Maps claims it is here. It's not that. The postcode takes you further on down. He has let me out. I'm not just parging my way out of the way. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to stop here and take a look, take a wander. Because it could be one of these complexes, but I don't want to drive down because then I've got to reverse out. So I found it, there's Rittel. Let's see if I can drive in yet. Right, I found it. Put the engine on. Well, I say I found it. I uh, asked for directions. By the way, just now, I don't know if I caught it on camera, but a van, not a van, a lorry just pulled up in front of me. Uh, put his as on. I was like, what's he doing? What's he doing just pulling in front of me like that? <laughs> uh, then he got out and he shook my hand. Uh, he said he watched my vlogs. So, uh, my vlogs. So, Matt, hello, Matt. Thanks for watching my vlogs, mate. Told him I'd give him a shout out, so here we go. Matt at Westons. Yeah, I spoke to a guy in the right hand side and he said, Yeah, yeah, there's a flag there that says Rittle. I was like, Oh, yeah, of course it does. <laughs> so, this is where we're going. I was going to walk on in, but uh, I see a sign saying goods inwards, so I'm just going to drive in. I have not gone any further than this. It's 
So, I mean, they might want me on any bet, I don't know. So I'm thinking of just parking here. And, because I don't think anyone's actually in yet. There's pallets in the way of bay one and two. So it'll probably be bay, bay three or four. I'm gonna have a drive down here a sec. I've got to be careful of drive time. I've only got five minutes left. Just gonna have a drive down here to see if there's any uh, doors. For, for people to walk through. There's a door there, bay six. And bay seven. Few bays. Okay, I'm just going to park up on the right hand side out of the way of the bays and have a walk around see if I can uh, see anyone and also I've got to put on break got to get half an hour break in now it's not actually booked into nine o'clock and it's quarter to eight in the morning so I am an hour and 15 minutes early but there is a chance they'll ask me to go on a bay anyway so we'll see just go back a little bit so I'm not blocking that trailer there Right, I'm gonna go see if anyone will take this delivery. See y'all in a bit. Collections and deliveries, please pour door up for service. There's nothing to pour. Nothing there. I rung, rung this, but it doesn't look like it's actually doing anything. Meanwhile, I'm parked up over there. We'll come into the main entrance. And uh, there's no one here. No one at reception. Nice Christmas tree. It's quite posh. Always goes to store visitors that always locks for security. Please use the phone for assistance. Yeah, but I don't know who to phone. Someone answer then. No. <laughs> Just looks like I'm gonna have to wait, I think. Wait for someone to pop up jump out the cab and go run at home and see what I can do. I'm all alone. There's no one here beside me. But you gotta have friends. <laughs> see, I think that I do have to go through there once they're open, but they're not open yet by the looks of it. Ooh doors open right we have spoken to him and we need to go on to base seven and there are bolt cutters over there waiting for me as well well behind the door apparently they said they'd do it Four, seven, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's the last one the one that's hardest <laughs> I've also just had to do a little bit of DIY I'll show you when I get there so uh, obviously I can't drive with it half hanging down so what I've done is I've put some super glue around the top bit so it focuses put some super glue around the top around here i've then cable tied it around so it is secure and just added the next little, little bit of tape as well just in case cable tidy is probably enough but uh we'll keep it like that for a little bit wait till we get back to the yard take it all off and see if the super glue has worked but uh let's uh get on to base seven Right, we've just been here now for just over two hours. Uh, there we go, like we're over there. Uh, just gone for a little, little walk really, it's a bit windy round here. Okay, situation report, we are on the bay. Bay 7, as instructed. Um, I finished off my break, um, I had 45 minutes break. Come round here, it reversed on the bay, no one was here, banged on the door, bang 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 no one opened the door 
I've been waiting here for about 20 minutes, 25 minutes. All of a sudden, someone opens up the door and says, all right, drive, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't want to speak negatively of the bloke, but I've done everything. I've cut the bolt cutters off. I've opened the doors. I've reversed back. I've lowered the suspension. I've put um, the yellow thing under the wheel, and he's up there just watching. <laughs> um, I ain't got a problem doing that. That's fine. You know what I mean? It gets done. I know it's done right. Uh, and then I just said, how long is it going to take, mate? Just out of interest, you know. I'm not in a rush or anything, but just, just so I've got a rough guidance of how long it's going to be. And he was like, oh, I don't know. Probably about two hours. And they just... And I'm, I'm sorry if he's watching this, but you've given me the impression that you're not in a rush and that you don't want to be at work. And, and so I... I believe I am going to be here a while. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll, just, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? Um, it'll take four and a half hours to get back to Southampton. It'll take just over three hours to get back home. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing yet. It's kind of... Uh, it's up to me, in a way. Like, I don't think I'm going to be able to make it down to Southampton. So I definitely won't be able to get this box off today anyway. It's just whether I go halfway down or most of the way down, stop in a lay-by and um, obviously get up in the morning and do it and then my last run tomorrow. Or do I go back to the yard and go home but then have an earlier start because it takes two hours to get to Southampton from my yard. So I effectively will have to start work two hours earlier, um, which would probably mean getting up at half one, leaving at two again in the morning. So we'll have to uh, think about that later. Um, it's, it kind of depends how long they're going to be here. If they're going to be two hours, I probably will just go straight home because, like I said, it's a three-hour drive. Yeah. Um, I'll be putting it at two o'clock already, and I start at three, so that's already an eleven-hour shift without having to go down to Southampton. And so, after yesterday's shift, um, I think you could probably tell I was very annoyed. Yeah, we've been sat here now for twenty minutes on either work. Um, yeah, I was pretty annoyed yesterday when I you can probably tell, but don't mind. Anyway. 20 to 9 in the morning, so we are effectively 20 minutes ahead of schedule. We're on the bay, doors are open. Um, fingers crossed, all goes well. Right, that's it, we're done. Box has been offloaded. Just going to close the doors up now on the uh, container. That's that one done. Uh, yeah, so now we're going to head back to the yard. And uh, I will see you when we're a little bit closer to the yard. See you later. Bye-bye. Right, three hours and ten minutes later. Uh, we should have been back in the yard by now. Um, but we got caught in a lot of traffic when we reached Birmingham so we're still another half an hour away uh, from the yard so we're looking at probably three hours and 40 minutes driving uh, by the time we have to get to the yard we're only half an hour away we're at Birdlip Hill on our way up Birdlip Hill now so we're on the home stretch we've had a very busy uh, no it's not been busy because we've been on a lot of uh, roads today we started off at Southampton, obviously, we went on the M27, which then led on to the M3. We took the A... well, actually, we stayed on the M3 to go up to the A303 to come back down again to get onto the A34 to come up to Oxford, uh, where we got onto the M40, and then we got on the A43 past Silverstone, uh, where we then went onto the M1 and then the M18. Uh, and if that... If you're the sort of person I used to be, that would just fly over your head. Like, I have no idea what people are talking about. Go on then, off you go. Uh, but yeah, they're the roads that we took to get up the place and then basically the reverse on the way down, M18, M1. But then we've got to the M6 and then M5. Uh, A417, which is where we're on now. And in a second, we'll be on the A419, where we will then take the B4040 to Quicklade. But yeah, no, if you're anything like me back in the day, it'll just zoof, straight over your head, like, you won't even remember. Don't even have a clue where those roads are. Uh, but yeah, no, we're um, on the home stretch. It's been an interesting couple of days, tiring couple of days, if I'm honest with you. I definitely am looking forward to going home, having a shower, have some hot food, see my kids, 
and uh, go to bed because I've got to be up early tomorrow I expect I don't actually know what time yet still waiting for that all important text to tell me what time I've got to start but uh, I am assuming it will be an early start more than likely oh my ears have gone good up this hill <laughs> uh, I was going to say a couple of things but I can't remember what it was now but never mind we're going to go end the video here uh, just a reminder go and click the link in the description below with regards to Chuck Jenko's channel new and upcoming vlogger I need to yawn and try to burst my ears oh, my ears are gone uh, at last count he had very close to a thousand uh, although he might have over a thousand now I've not checked for a couple of days but uh, let's see if we can get him over a thousand if he isn't I'm sure he will be anyway Chuck Jenko he's a Welsh Welsh guy from Wales obviously and he's uh, more mature than the uh, than the rest of us who vlog in terms of age and also a quick word on CJC because people keep asking me if CJC's alright yes as far as I'm aware he's alright he just needed to take some time off I'm sure he will be back so stop asking <laughs> right Thank you very much for watching this video. Apologies for nearly having a breakdown yesterday on camera. Probably not the worst day of my life, but, <laughs> but in terms of stress, stressness, stressfulness, it was certainly up there. But today's been all right. Today's been a good day. Just want to get home, see the kids, see the girlfriend. Oh yeah, obviously see the girlfriend. Forgot to mention her. <laughs> I'm gonna go before I get myself in trouble. Right, see you later everybody. Thanks for watching. Until next time, drive safe. Bye-bye.